Okay, so we know how to do exponents. Okay, if we have um, like 4 to the 3rd power or 2 to the 6th power, we know that we multiply our base number over and over and over again. Now, some problems look like this, though, where they give you an answer and then give you the base number. In this case, it's 4. And you have to figure out what number would be the exponent. So in this case, it's 256 with the base of 4. So we have our base number. We need to find out what number goes in the exponent to give us an answer of 256. First thing we need to do in this kind of problem is multiply the base times itself. Because we know with exponents, we're multiplying the base by itself over and over again. So 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 doesn't give me this answer of 256 that I'm looking for. So I'm going to take that and multiply it by 4 again. 16 times 4 is 64. Still not the answer I'm looking for with 256. So I have to multiply this number by 4. 64 times 4, 256. That is the number that I'm looking for. So I need to figure out how many times that I multiply 4 by itself. Okay, So I'm going to count how many 4's I have here. I have 1 right there. 2 right here, 3, and 4. I have 4 different 4's. So that's the same as saying 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 equals 256. So if I have my base number 4 and I'm multiplying it 4 different times, my answer is going to be 4 to the 4th power. As you see, my base number is the same as what it was up here. Okay. So when you see one of these problems, first thing you do, take the base number that they already give you, multiply it by itself. Then keep multiplying your answers by that base number until they give you the answer, or until it gives you the answer that they gave you.